Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for Simon Says Stamps' newest release, Happy and Joyful. I have a set of small friendship note cards, A1 size, done up in summery colors featuring a new nesting die set, A2 marquee. The smaller size and silhouettes on easy ink blended backgrounds make this a quick set of cards to make. As usual, if anything tickles your fancy, you can find more information about the products that I've used in the links of this YouTube video or on my blog at bonniecarolee.com. I started off with small panels of Bristol Smooth cardstock, two and three quarter by four inches. I'm using blending brushes to apply Simon Says Stamps positively saturated inks. These inks blend beautifully, and the fact that they are organized in color families of three made the ink selection extremely easy for these monochromatic cards. This trio, Cherry, Watermelon, and Rose, comes from the ink gradient set number three. And with just a couple of applications of ink to smooth out the transitions between these reddish pink tones, this little panel was done and ready to be stamped with a silhouette. I'm going to be using one of the stamps from Simon Says Stamps Wildflowers. I wanted to create soft and summery cards, so I chose to do the silhouettes the same color as the background. The silhouette is stamped with the darkest ink, in this case, the cherry. I love these fresh greens, Perfection, Limelicious, and Celery. This trio comes from their first gradient ink set. There are different options for purchasing these inks. You can choose the entire gradient set, a trio of inks, or even singles. I'm a collector at heart, and so when I love something, I have to have it all. Unfortunately, my crafting budget doesn't necessarily allow for me to do it all at once. So I like having options. The Wildflower stamp set actually comes with two silhouette images. I'm only using the one. Because my panels are small and the stamp is large, I'm able to shift my panels around to capture different profiles. And because there's a fair amount of ink being applied, I like to use the stamping tool so that I get a good impression. When I open my misty door, the panel is sticking to the stamp, so I give it one final rub. Oh, here we go, pretty in pink with a combination of peony, guava, and carnation. I'm working on waffle flower stencil mat. The non-slip material keeps that mat securely in place and it really makes the process of ink blending a lot easier. And here is my third silhouette image being stamped with my darkest pink peony. So obviously the process is repetitive and I'm just going to mention the ink colors used for the last three panels. This gorgeous gradient of blue is comprised of ocean, surf, and sea foam. And I love the warmth of this combination, peachy, grapefruit, and mandarin. I'm wrapping up my ink blending with a panel of sunshine lemonade, sunbeam, and citrine. These six little panels with their pretty ink blended backgrounds and silhouette stamped images took no time at all to do. This set of note cards is going to be all about friendships. I'm always on the lookout for great sentiment sets. Simon Says Stamps Say It All Friend is really beautiful. This set is comprised of five main sentiments and then lots of supporting ones. Continue with that pretty summery feel. I'm stamping the main sentiment with Versamark ink and embossing them in white. White sentiments pop off of the monochromatic background and will tie in with the A2 marquee detail. First thing that I did was lay out all of my primary and secondary sentiments that would go on each of the panels. All of the embossed sentiments were done at the same time. My heat tool is nice and hot and I heat both the front and the back of the panel and combined this helps to minimize warping. 
The secondary sentiments are going to be stamped with black VersaFine ink. The type on these sentiments is quite fine and small, and black VersaFine is a great detail ink. Make sure that my sentiment is going to be straight. I will pick up my Misty, open up the door slightly, and just check its alignment with the grid that is on the door. Because the red panel is darker, I am going to stamp it twice so that I can really intensify that black. Even though the secondary sentiments are being switched out for each of the panels, this is really a quick and easy process when you do it in assembly line fashion. I like dimension and so each of my little panels are being mounted on foam. And as I mount them, I'm placing them under the weight of the Misty so that there's good contact between the cardstock and the sheet foam. A2 marquee comes with three dies. The second die has been used to cut Nina Classic Crest 110 pound cardstock. My little foam back panels have been sized to fit nicely right within that dot detail around the perimeter. To highlight the card fronts, they are being adhered to card bases of black cardstock that measure three and a half by four and three quarter inches. I'm using two confetti mixes by Studio Kasha to embellish these cards. For the blue card, I choose some pretty light blue confetti from Sparkling Sea. Continuing with that monochromatic theme, I pick and choose colors out of a beautiful mix satin rainbow. Right now that confetti is kind of blending in, so I must use my Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. When morning dew is dry, it is clear, leaving a beautiful jewel-like embellishment. To help draw more attention to the beautiful wildflower silhouette images, I'm just using my Nouveau Glitter Drops White Blizzard and dotting it over the flowers. When the White Blizzard dries, it is also clear, just leaving these little bits of sparkle over the plants. To get these little tiny dots, I touch the nozzle right to the card front. And when the light catches the panel, it looks like glistening drops of dew. And that completes this sweet set of little note cards featuring Simon Says Stamps A2 Marquee. I love having little friendship cards on hand that I can pop in the mail for no reason at all except to say I appreciate you and I'm thinking of you. Hope you enjoyed this video and encourage you to check out the rest of Simon Says Stamp's happy and joyful release. It is sure to bring a smile to your face. As always, I appreciate your visit.